everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm with Anna. Hello. We're in New York, it's our final day, and I thought it would be nice to just do a really chilled video. I've never done like a real time get ready with me, which oh is God, basically yeah. like chatty G W G G R. W, w M. M. Not wow. catchy. It's 9 30 <laughs> in the morning, seriously. <laughs> but like no editing, as little as I can. Just us putting our makeup on because we're genuinely putting our makeup on to get ready for the day. And there's nothing interesting, yeah. but I just wanted to sit and chat and we do our makeup. We just chat to you. Exactly. How, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> no, I'm seriously. Um, I'm going to get started because this probably will take a while. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, it's our final day of New York. We go here Monday night. Yeah, like Monday evening, we've been here with Bobby Brown and then we've had a couple of days on our own. And it's been really nice. It's been really nice. New York is like our new place that we come to quite often, which makes me feel well fancy. And it's so nice when you go somewhere quite often because then you get here and you like, don't, like this trip, we literally haven't left Soho, like once. Yeah, we went to Brooklyn. We went to Brooklyn. But, but normally when you come to New York, you feel like you have to go to all these places where it's just been really chilled, which I really like. And we feel like we kind of know our way around and like, this is the way home. Anna knows her way around. <laughs> also, please, can we not talk about how the colour I've got on my face just really doesn't match? It's really dark for me. Oh, God, I don't even know if mine does. I'm using the um, It Cosmetics This Thing. We went to Sephora yesterday. This thing. Haul on my channel coming up. Um, and they gave out a free one. Like, I don't know why they were giving out, giving it out. Well, they didn't like, give it to me, did they? Like and then I complained. <laughs> yeah, Lily was like, oh, excuse me, that's like my favorite foundation ever. They were with Lily's friend Keisha and they were saying like, oh, it's a, it's a color corrector. And I, was, and I wondered what the hell it was. And then I looked, I was like, Keisha, it's like the best foundation ever. Ugh. You'll love it. I also, I bought, so I bought a travel size and then they gave out this like mini, mini, mini one. It literally looks so like tiny. concealer size. So tiny. But I feel like it'd be a good one for like overnight stays yeah when you're not wearing a lot of makeup yeah oh it's just the best what's the point in trying anything else although saying that we got to try a new bobby brown foundation on this trip that's like a secret and we're not allowed to talk about it apparently oh, yeah, well we're not saying what it <laughs> breaking is breaking the rules we're not saying what it is but it actually was really nice it was that, really I nice i think that's coming out in like the new year or something yeah i think so it was yeah oh god i don't want to say anything about it but this is what happens now. i find a new foundation and i'm like oh that's so nice and then before you know it, I'm back to it cosmetics. It's just something about it. I don't know what it is, but to me, nothing else compares. Yeah. It makes me look like kind of glowy, has coverage. I'm it's doomed. It's a gigantic spot. Um, gigantic. Does it come out? Yeah. Um, it came out last night. I did the good I did the good thing and I sat there with like a fl hot flannel on it. And then it all when? kind of... Like last night. In the bathroom? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In front of me. I was like, I didn't see that. <laughs> And then I gave it a good squeeze and it was honestly one of those ones that was like, ugh, like, you know, you squeeze it and it pops and it's, it's like from the film. Oh man. It was, it was really good though. There's um, a guy, can we just talk about the guy out there that's just hanging out of his window? Is he okay? Should we catch his eye? Is he looking, is he looking for I think he's trying to find someone on the ground. Oh, oh bollocks, I just went like that on a white. Okay, we're okay. Oh. We're okay. There's nothing on Where it. Found it. Oh, bronzer. No, this is foundation. I just put it down into my boot. Where are they? I'm trying to be really careful because I got a piercing yesterday. I got Finally. like the, I don't even know what that part of my ear is called. Like a bit of the cartilage done. Um, and I'm wearing my hair down today. It keeps brushing it. I'm like, oh. I was really not prepared for it. Lily was. I was sitting downstairs because I don't like that kind of shit. And then Lily was like, oh, hey, there's a, there's a sofa up here. And I was I like- I thought you were gonna say no. I was surprised mm. you were like, okay. I was like, okay, that's cool. And I just started like profusely sweating. And then Lily, Lily's like, if you could just film it for me on my phone, that'd be great. So then I'm like there. And I've only ever, like, I don't only have my ears pierced once. And that was at Claire's Accessories where they like do it with the gun and like count you down. But this guy, I just wasn't prepared for it. Like literally had like a rod through Lily's ear at one what point. I was like, oh. Yeah, what they do is they put this like kind of rod through and then they put the needle through and then they put the earring in, so it's like a three-part thing. But it really didn't hurt. I think you could do it, I know you. And it didn't hurt, I promise. It's just like a lot of pressure. He made me feel like it was gonna kill, because he was like, you need to take three deep breaths. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so intense. And I was like, I didn't even feel it. It just looked intense. Like, I just really wasn't prepared for it. Like, he kind of stood away, and then there was literally like a 
piece of metal through your ear. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's you happening. You didn't faint, so well done. I didn't faint, you didn't faint. And I'm so pleased you finally got a bloody piercing because every time we come here, <laughs> you're like, oh, let's go to the piercing shop. <laughs> we go, and she never gets it done. And this time I'm like, that and your sunglasses. Oh my God, best, like we've had such a productive two weeks. <laughs> when Lily bought her sunglasses in Stockholm, she was like, this is, it. I'm done. I was like, I'm I want to sell all my other sunglasses. She's obsessed. So we, me and Keisha have been like testing her and every time she walks past the sunglasses shop, we're like, really? <laughs> but to be fair, you've actually, you've passed the test. I have, I have. Can I just say, I'm using the new YSL concealer. It's the um, all hours concealer and I really like it. And it's probably the first liquid concealer in a while that I haven't felt like I have to go in with like the NARS one afterwards on my dark circles. It's got like that much coverage because you like quite a lot of coverage out of your It's concealer. a bit like the NARS one, but... Um, I find that a bit drying now. Yeah, but not There's drying. There's something about it that, like back in the day, I never used to find it drying at all. And this, when I use it, yeah. I feel like it gets a bit creasy, especially like in that It's bit. a bit like the Urban Decay one, which I really like. I just forget it exists because the colour's a little bit too warm for me. This one's a bit more like yellow. Oh yeah, naked. What happened to that? I still use it. I think I just used it up and never repurchased it. I'm super into the NARS like pot one. This one, like not the creamy concealer dippy yeah, one. This is the one. soft yeah, yeah. matte complete concealer, which sounds horrifying. Like that that name doesn't like turn me onto it at all. But actually it is really good. It's got like decent coverage. I bought um I bought the new Glossier powder and with it, if you want, you can buy it as like a kit with the brush. And loads of people said that the brush is really bad. But I thought, yeah, maybe it's bad for powder, but it's a really good like travel bronzer brush. It's a bit yeah. like it's weird how it's like flat. A bit contoury. Yeah, I kind of want to like squish it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it for bronze. It wasn't much more, it was like, what, seven dollars more or something. I just love like mini brushes. Let's just take a moment for this as well. Which oh my god. It's gonna amazing. be like a cotton bud holder. I can feel it. Oh my god. Or like the tweezers. I don't really use cotton buds. Yeah, like bits. It's for your like, you know, when you put in your handbag and you wrap it all around. Just yeah. use that. Yeah. Like my Imodium pills and stuff. Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. I did the same thing and I bought it as well. And I also bought the brush, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to use Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder, which I've been using for all powders. See, that's that, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I love that brush. But look how long it is. I can't travel with that. <laughs> it's really big. But I kind of use it for everything. I think it's got, like, bronzer on from yesterday. I'm not crazy into powdering, but here the weather has been, like, downright bizarre. It's been, like, a bit windy, but then so hot, like, we're feeling like we were melting. Yeah, the first day. Oh Tuesday. my god, it was so hot. Yeah, we were like really not mentally prepared for that. And also, I'm like trying not to put too much makeup on because we're actually flying home today, so it's a bit silly, really. Oh yeah, I need to put like a cleanser or something in my hand luggage. I think like I'm a gonna, makeup remover. I or can I just use yours? <laughs> I've got a mini bioderma. Oh, have you? I, maybe we should go buy some like face wipes. Oh, I bought some. Remember? Awesome. In the airport, on the way out. Caroline. <laughs> is Caroline watching? No, no she, said, she said it's right for Fanny's flight, flights, flights and, and festivals. festivals. There you go. Justified. This is also, they used this on me yesterday, so I'm a bit obsessed with the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. I think they used the pink one. She told me, she, she put the highlighter on under my blusher, and I just thought that was genius. She said it gives a lit from within look. I'm kind of obsessed with this, the Marc Jacobs. Omega Bronze, right, it's the longest name ever. Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan Limited Edition in 104 Tantastic. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Seriously. But I love travelling with it because the mirror is absolutely massive, so I can just do, like, my whole face in it. It's, like, a nice tone. It's not too orangey. It's kind of, like, brownie. We've been really good, actually. We haven't gone too crazy in Sephora. Well, we, we've... As we've grown up, we do this thing where we buy less, but they seem to be more expensive things. <laughs> and like we go straight for the hair care and the skincare and no makeup. We didn't buy any makeup. No, we walked straight past makeup and yeah, just for hair care and skincare and kind of knew what we like knew what we wanted though. Yeah, we knew what we wanted, but then I always end up throwing extra things in because you buy them. You're like, oh, but the texture spray. Yeah, but the texture that spray is my really list. good. The texture spray is really good. <laughs> But then, last night, Fenty Beauty launched, like the Rihanna range that everyone's talking about. And Lily was like, not interested, not interested. I'm like, what a stupid name? It sounds like Fendi. That was I my first thought. <laughs> I think it's because she got a sports line that's, I don't know, I feel like she's got another business. That's... I'm not like a massive Rihanna fan. 
But then this morning in bed, she was like looking at Twitter. No, I got an email from Sephora. Oh, an email. And she was like, wow, it might be at Sephora today. And so who knows? Uh, Maybe there'll be like no, a Sephora I don't around need it. I hate a hype. I'll buy it in like a year's time. You say that, but it did look quite pretty. Mm. I don't know. Have you been using the Fleur de Force Isla? Yes, I, really I like love it. the... I can't remember what colour it is, it's the second medium. darkest one. Yeah, the dark one is too black for me, but the medium one is really good. Mm. And it's got an awesome spoolie on it. I just use the Glossier Boy Brow because I have my brows kind of like HD'd up recently, so. Right, fancy. Um, yesterday, I met Alana for the first time. She, Alana Davidson. I'll link her channel down below. So I've watched cool. her video for a couple of years now. Um, Anna already met her at Coachella and I was super jealous. She was. And I got to meet her yesterday and she's even prettier in real life. Yeah, we walked away and we were like, oh my god. I, I actually gorgeous. think I went, her bone structure. Yeah, <laughs> did you? Her bone structure, her skin. And I was also like, she's hilarious. Yeah, like, she's she so was funny. having all the lols with the waitress. I just think yeah. she's hilarious. She's so lovely. You it's don't so nice videos. when you meet someone, then you're like, oh, they're great, rather than being like, ooh. No, she was super, super... <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't happen, I promise. <laughs> she was super nice, super great. And I like her videos. She does beauty videos, but beauty videos of makeup that I want to wear. She's very into, like, no makeup, makeup. She's, like, a complete Glossier fan. She girl. really is. Oh, I'm using this. What are you using on your I eyes? can't believe... You're so weird. Like, I, could, I can't predict you. <laughs> She's like travel compact organisational freak. She brings a massive palette with her. <laughs> I don't know. I bought a little compact four eyeshadow thing. Who are you? Because I'm obsessed with this colour, low blow. Like nothing compares to this colour. You like um, depot it. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, if it was a circle, I probably would try. I, you should see if Urban Decay have anything similar and it's like a single. I'm obsessed with that. And like Max Sober is one? quite similar. This one. Low blow. That's literally the same as like a Mac. <laughs> Cork. Oh, right. my <laughs> Cork. The way you said that was really funny. Sometimes I've just been using the bronzer on my eyelid, but I basically just take it on a massive MAC 224 and I try and do what Lily does. And she's just like. This brush I've been using, it's the best. Do you know what? I tried to find it on what the Space UK website and I don't even know if they do it anymore. It's the Laura Mercier Finishing Eye. I think it's meant for concealer. It's one of those like. Um, a bit tapered. What's they called when they've got like little hairs coming out the top? Duo, Duo fiber. fiber. And it's the best for, because sometimes I feel like with eyeshadow brushes, like if I use one of these, I put too much on and it puts like oh. a little amount. It's just the best brush ever. What are you using? What colour are you using? Well, I can't really remember, but I feel like, well, all the glitters, which I think you must find it really Classic. funny that I still use that, but it's my favourite. And I, do th I do still think it looks nice. I'm just not crazy into like shimmer on my eyes. But look how unshimmery it is. Oh, yeah, it's it just not. Shimmery it's not shimmery. It's 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 like creamy. I don't know. It doesn't give a shimmer. It's just sheeny. 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 We should do this more often. I'm enjoying it for you. Yeah. I don't know. Are you? I, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask that you. question. Let us know. <laughs> we'll read it in a week's time. <laughs> it's because I haven't actually. Because we don't normally do makeup tutorials anymore. I don't actually know. I see like your favourites and stuff. Yeah. But it's quite interesting to see what you actually like use well we're telling each other but we haven't really told the camera what we've been using i'll oh, try yeah. and write everything down i'll send you a list okay i okay. should write my own down because i know you'll send me the list but i'll be like i can't remember what i used <laughs> i just back in the day i never wore eyeshadow i was like ew eyeshadow is so gross and now if i don't wear it i feel a bit naked yeah I'm like i've really turned a corner so i'm looking like a million and one different mirrors how do you think you're like makeup taste or like attitude towards makeup has changed over the last I feel like it's like the last year we've both changed a lot yeah I feel like I've always been comfortable not wearing makeup I'm not one of those like oh my god I have to put it on to go and buy bread down the road kind of people <laughs> I probably wear makeup like three days out of a week yeah I just I found my favorites that's why we went to Sephora and bought a shitload of hair care and skincare because I feel like I've found my favourites and I just really love them and that's kind of me. I think it's an age like, thing as well out. because when you find your favourites and you know what works for you, it's a bit like, well, why why would I not use the things that I know work for me? Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I think yeah, when yeah. a few years ago it would have been like, because we need to like churn out the content and like try yeah. things, but we've enjoyed like making different content and then when we make beauty it's like, this is the stuff we really, really love. I still love watching, like, the videos with, like, 
five different eyeshadows. Yeah. Like, I, I, I love watching that for like entertainment and just seeing it. And But I just feel like on me, that's not the look that I want to go for. I want to go for more like... What are you doing? Oh, I, sorry, I did <laughs> sorry, that without... Sorry to interrupt, but she looks like she's doing something like I did glowing. the Glossier Halo Scope, but I don't like putting it directly on my skin because I feel like it kind of drags and like moves makeup around. So I put it on my fingers and then I put my fingers together and then I like... I'm having FOMO, so I'm going to use my like MAC <laughs> creamy thing. Is that in Hush? Yeah. Oh, I like cream colour base. Proper hit pan. Woo! Do you know what I've been doing again? And I haven't done this for ages. I've been um, keeping my empties. No way. Yeah, I've been keeping my empties, which I think this really needs to go in. The MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. Like, you can see the... I don't know if you're better to see. You can, like, see the, the back of I it I just now. finished a Glossier ban Bounce. So, yeah, so keep it. No, I just chucked it. But I want to do like an empties in a vlog. So not like a proper, proper empties, but just a bit of an empties. Just so organised. She, like, <laughs> she like thinks about her content like weeks in advance. I'm I like, just... ah, empties, <laughs> put it in the bin. <laughs> oh shit, I threw them all away. I just think it's good to show that like what you use, like a lot of the stuff that we bought in Glossier is all like repurchases of stuff that we've like used up and really yeah. love so i think it's good to show you like it's cool to <clears throat> get to the end of a product sometimes what's that i'm using the YSL, ysl the shock waterproof <gasps> oh i just opened my glossier cake and it's just like fallen out like it's got it's dead well i can put it back yeah, in but back in. That that's is, rubbish that is rubbish sorry glossier, sorry, glossier. I, this happens a lot i find with lipsticks is it because it was it hasn't been that hot though it's not like it's melted it's also a really hard product. Like, I find it's quite... I just love the colour of it, though. Are you done? Did you beat me? Yeah. Ah! Oh, this is not working. I think mine's, like, dried out. Not a fan. Not a fan. I've been, like, completely fanning around. I've been the one, like, talking too much. Yeah, you have been talking. Sorry. Thanks, though. Otherwise, it would be a really boring video. <laughs> uh, that's too pink. Oh god, my lips are dry. This is a disaster. This is what happens. I get to the lips and then I'm like, I'm every day I just wear lip balm. I really don't wear lipstick that often unless I'm like going out. What lip balm are you into at the moment? Where did you hide my handbag? I don't know. I've hidden everything. Sorry. What what lip balm are you into at the moment? Do you even need to ask? My balm is literally just in the camera. It's fine. <laughs> Let me guess, your coconut. No! Yeah. Oh, you're Nivea. Oh, you're obsessed with that. I'm on the fourth one. And also, my sister Jojo is now obsessed with this as well. It's the only thing. We both got like lip allergies. It's the only thing that helps our very, very dry lips. It's Mark's favourite. Yeah, yeah, my dad. You, I said to my dad, he's obsessed with lip balm. I was like, you have to show this one. He's like, I've been using that for years. <laughs> you mean you didn't show it on your beauty blog, Dad? God. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst though, when you have a bit of lipstick and then you like ruin your lip balm and make it all gross. It's such a nice formula though, it's really like, really moisturising. I'm so excited to go home! I'm, I'm no offence to you. I'm I know, I mean I've, I've had the do. best trip and I love New York and I'm sad that I don't have another trip here planned and I don't know when that will be. And also like, last week I was like, oh well I'll see you next week and now we're like, I don't know when I'll see you. Oh. But, I haven't been home for ages and I'm really excited. I just want to lay in my dressing gown. Yeah. Watch Bake Off. I've <gasps> missed a Bake Off. Mr. Bake Off. I've missed the Nashville. Am I the only one? <laughs> yeah, are you done? I'm done. Woo! I, I can't. I, on my lips, I used this, the Chanel Age. Oh no, different one, different one. I don't wear Adrian wondered, anymore. It's too brown. I wondered why I looked like every time I put this on, I was like, this look, Adrian looks really different on me. It's daylight. It's from their like new summer collection and it's more peach. Oh. Yeah, it's like definitely more of like a peachy. It's really nice. I thought all week, thank you. I thought all week that looked really I was like, oh Adrienne is looking really weird on my lips. <laughs> Lol. I'm done. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I actually quite enjoyed that. How long that. is that? 19 minutes. That's good. I'll see. We might edit it down a little bit, but maybe yeah. not. I don't think we said anything outrageous. I don't think it needs so. To be cut, no. If we did, you won't hear it because it would be edited out. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with us. Our plans today involve breakfast at some point, getting starving, our nails done, yeah. a paint box, a gel manicure, but they do like cool patterns. We maybe really see for Alana for lunch. Maybe my friend Keisha yeah. um, needs to say goodbye to her. And then we're going to hang around somewhere in the afternoon and then fly back. Desperately try not to get too sweaty for our flight home. Yeah, Just and then like... take some sleeping pills. Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> all day. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to check out Anna's channel because we're going to do a haul on there now with like Sephora stuff and Lululemon stuff and all other kinds of this things. This is so old school YouTube. I love it. This is like a collaboration. We're sitting on the floor. <laughs> I love it. Great. Bye. Bye. <laughs>